Welcome to Smack Garage. Today we're going to be working on the Factory 5 GTM. So today we're going to make a lot of progress on it so that we can get the body ready to finally go on the car. Now, if you followed along for the past few weeks, we've spent some time getting the car running. And when we did that, we ended up taking a lot of the wiring apart and just leaving it as a rat's nest. So in this video, not only are we going to get the wiring done back there and button it up so we can get the body on it, but we're also going to start working on the headlight and taillight wiring. So one of, the, one of the things I want to do before I get the entire car together is I want to make sure the wiring's all buttoned up and set enough so that I can test everything out to make sure everything is wired correctly. So to do that, we're going to wire up the headlights, the taillights, make sure everything works, get the blinkers working, four-way flashers, everything that the car needs so we can start putting the body on it to start doing some work on that portion of the project. So let's go ahead and let's start working on the wiring on the engine and get that all put back together. Okay, while well, I'm doing that wiring, the next thing I need to sort out is essentially the battery cable. So I ran the battery cable through here while we were trying to get it running, but really it needs to run down underneath into the front. So I'm gonna take this apart, Fish it back through underneath, tighten everything back up. All right, so we got the wire routed down through the front center of the chassis, back up to here, away from the exhaust. I need to put one more bolt down there to hold it in place, but that should be good. Okay, so now we're gonna be drilling holes in the chassis up in the front. We need to put the wiring from the master cell, which is located under this panel, out to the front. Now the reason why we need to do that is because we need to get the headlight wiring and the turn signal wiring out. All the wiring right now is inside the interior of the car, and by doing this, we'll be able to get access to it over here, and then we can test the headlights and turn signals out as soon as we get them wired up and put together. So let's go ahead, let's drill that hole and get the wiring out. All right, so I got this wired in, and you can see here, here's where it's gonna plug in. It's gonna plug into the infinity box over there. The headlights and the turn signals are gonna run up the front and into the where the front end of the car is gonna be. Now let's go ahead and probably test those out. Day two of working on the headlights, and the first thing I'm noticing is I actually don't have the right connectors. I think they're H11, H9 connectors for the headlight bulbs. So I need to pick some of those up before I can actually power these up. So that's something that I gotta do. But what I can do today is I can at least put these in the buckets and I can get everything fit, get the holes drilled, make sure there's enough room for them to be adjusted, and then we should be good to go. Now each one of these headlight buckets took about an hour and a half to get right. Not only did I have to open up the hole a little bit larger, but I also need to make it large enough that I could adjust the headlights. Now, the one thing you can notice here is nothing ever fits right. So I gotta open up this hole more to be able to get this through. Now, this might actually not be drilled in the right location from the factory because I'm not able to get this any further in to where it needs to be because this ear is hitting and this ear is hitting. So I have two options. I can either go out further this way or I can cut these down some. So I'm gonna start by trying to go out this way and just add some more clearance on it. All right, so we got the headlight bucket done. So I got the turn signal in, the high beam, and the low beam, and everything is kind of in place, but not really. So there's still some more work to do. I didn't push this one in all the way. I to fix something there, but it's in, ready to be adjusted when I can power everything up. But like I was saying before, I actually don't have the connectors for these. They will be here tomorrow. So as soon as I can power them back up, then we'll go ahead, test them out, and then install, and then get them ready to go onto the body. Now, one of the other things that I wanna do before I get the body on the car is I wanna make sure all the wiring works. So, I'm gonna end up testing out these bulbs and these taillights to make sure everything is good, and make sure everything plugs in and everything works correctly, because the last thing I wanna do is kind of take everything apart again with the body on the car. So, it's easier to do after. So you can see, 
in this there is a multi-filament bulb i guess you could put a two bulbs in here if you wanted to but it has a multi-filament bulb so i guess that's what i'm going to end up using and then we have a turn signal and a reverse light so we're going to go ahead we're going to make sure all the wiring on this works before we go for any further forward putting on the body so it's going to be ground on the outside filament one filament two And the same thing over here, we gotta wire each one of these in, but each one is its own bulb. There are no multi-filament bulbs here. So, okay, so first we're gonna do the turn signals in reverse lights, check to make sure every, all that wiring works. So the way this light works is I've actually taken this wire, what do I do with it? This green wire right here, I grounded it. When that is grounded, it sends a, this master cell here, understands what's going on. It then sends a signal through the bus with the sound of the car back to this controller. And then this controller sends, has a wire that goes back to the light. And right here, so we got the, Left side working, now we're gonna get the right side working and check out the brakes. Okay, so I got this mess of wiring on the car, but everything is organized, believe it or not. So all I really need to do is drill some grounds and then I should be able to power these up and make sure that everything works. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna test these out tonight. So let's go ahead and let me add some grounds to the back of the chassis. Okay, so those are parking lights, foot hazards, and brake lights are this wire here, which needs to be wired into a switch. Cool, now we're work, all the lights just seem to be working. All right, so the tail lights and everything are working back here. Now we have to wire up some of the front. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. The headlight stuff is coming in, should be here tomorrow, and then we should be able to test out the headlights as well. So let's go ahead and let's start wiring up the dash of the car so we can get the turn signals and everything ironed out and then move on to the headlights. Okay, so everything's wired up so let's see parking parking lights come on off on here you go right turn signal right turn signal left turn signal left turn signal so everything is wired up correctly on to the next step now this wiring in here is still a mess that needs to be cleaned up the part that you don't see is these actually a lot of these aren't going to get used in there for things if you want to add them. So I'm just going to set these aside for now, but you can see the multifunction lever and switches are connected. There is a lot of grounds to it. So these are grounded. There's some wires up here grounded. I need to take some time and screw these into the chassis, which I'll probably end up doing tonight to make sure that everything's working. Since I think the way the switch used to work is it used to have a 12 volt input, which would flow the 12 volts through this to the lights. And the way this system works is it's, so the infinity box, which is underneath here, is it's actually checking for continuity, so not running voltage through it. So I need to ground both kind of what would be the 12 volt side, as well as the line going to the light. But it seems like everything is all set now. I was able to figure out what the different wire colors were pretty easily. And now we can button it up. Now for the headlights, so you get the parking lights, those come on. Headlights, headlight came on, perfect. So the headlight is on the outside. Then we're gonna go to the high beam. High beam will be on the inside. Now for the turn signal there, I actually don't know what bulb connector this is. So I'm gonna have to do some research to see if I can figure it out. But if anyone in the comments knows what this is, 
Make sure you mention it down there so I can get the right one. All right, so we've made a lot of progress on the Factory 5 GTM this week. Step by step, it's coming together. I'm working on still sharing what I think are the most interesting, most important parts of the build. So coming up, we're gonna do putting the body on the car and sharing that with you guys. So thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe so you can follow along with the build. I'll see you next time on Smacky's Garage.